Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy Kenny, and we're back with Sailor Moon Crystal Season 3, Episode 32. I, no, 33. Guys, this episode introduces three new um, guardians. Now, at the end of last episode, we got to see one guardian uh, in particular, Sailor Pluto. She makes her appearance back. So, she uses her attack dead screen to. Um, finish off uh, Tuluya. Once Tuluya is down and Chibi Yusa sees who she is and she runs over and gives her a hug. Now, at this point you got uh, Uranus and Neptune coming in and they're basically telling, you know, uh, everybody who they are. And remember, each Guardian had a, uh, they have their own planet that you know, they had their own separate missions. Back in the Silver Millennium, each one of them never supposed to be crossed paths. They uh, they had their own solitary missions. And they come to tell um, Princess Serenity. Now, at this point, Usa uh, Sailor Moon transforms into uh, Princess Serenity. Um, Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto tells, them, tells her that, you know, the Death Busters are aliens from another dimension. And they found life here on Earth, so they're uh, basically using the Mugen uh, district to, you know, as a uh, conduit to come to this dimension. So Sailor Moon wants to, you know, team up with them because, but she says no. Uh, Uranus, no, <clears throat> Uranus says no because of the fact that this is their job and they have more power. Their powers are more powerful because of the fact it helps them to. Um, it helps them to stave off the, you know, the coming threats. So Pluto um, basically lets them know that um, they have to destroy this evil, you know, at any cost. So what I like about these um, Guardians, they're not such bitches and assholes like they were in their counterparts in the original. Because if you guys have seen the original, they treated um, the inners like shit. I mean, you guys would have been like, aren't you guys on the same team? The way they were acting, you would have never even knew they were on the same team. And so, um, Kiori Knight is with um, with Dr. Tolme. Now, she's trying to figure out, you know, she's her mind is all blanked and everything. She's trying to figure out what the uh, how to destroy the um, Guardians. Uh, Dr. Tolme, uh, Dr. Tolme, um, uh, he was like, you know, Pharaoh 90 is getting pissed with her. So she goes to her mirror, her, um, her water mirror. Her water mirror shows the three, uh, shows all the guardians. And there's three exceptional, three blue, uh, gleaming lights. And these lights are so bright. She's saying they're the most powerful. What those lights mean is each one of, uh, Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto they have the talismans. The talismans are the source of their, you know, powers being stronger because those talismans give them the more power to stave off attacks. And they also, and they, you know, they could obliterate an enemy with, you know, with ease. However, there's another, um, there's something else that goes along with that that we will discuss later on down the line, which won't be too long from now. But, um, she sends in Cyprin. Now, Cyprin is the last of the Witches Five, and she's the highest rank. So, Usagi and Chibiusa, well, Chibiusa goes over to, um, goes, oh, wait, uh, I forgot. The girls, they, uh, they go to the, they're at the high, um, at the command center. They tell Chibiusa they want her to keep an eye on, um, uh, Hotaru because, 
they don't suspect Hotel the rule, but they think her father has something to do with all of this. So she, you know, she's like, okay, I'm a guardian. I got to do it. So I will do my best. So she goes over to Hotoru's house. Now, at this point, Hotoru, uh, no, Dr. Tomoe, he actually just finished giving her uh, an operation, which was her cybernetics. So Chibiusa came up and saw, you know, uh, Hotoru's arm, and she freaks out and she runs away. At this point, she runs. When she runs into town, she starts reflecting on why did I run? You know, she's my friend. I need to go back. Uh, Hotaru is on the ground, looking like you know she has the faint appearances of uh, of Haruka, Michiru, and Setsuna looking at her, and she's like, "Why are they looking at her with Peter?" That is an ominous sign that you guys will learn down the road. But I'm not going to explore that for you right now. So, um, Chibi Yusa says she needs to go back and uh, talk to Hotaru. But at this point, hail falls out the sky. And as the hail is falling, um, you get everybody, the, the, uh, everybody, uh, the crystals protects Chibi Yusa, which uh, Momoru and Usagi are there as well. So they start to see people start to, um, they start to see them, you know, um, go into, you know, fighting each other. So back at the, um, uh, back at the hideout, Luna finds out that Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto are fighting. I forgot to tell y'all, uh, Uranus transforms in front of Cyprian, even though Cyprian knows who she was. I mean, how can you not? Um, she goes and so Luna was like, well, uh, Luna tells them they had to go out and fight. Mako, uh, Makoto said they're on their own because, you know, they basically told them they didn't want their help. And Usagi said, no, we're going to help them. We're helping the city and it includes those three. So they get there to the battle ground. They get there to the battlefield and they start helping. Uranus turns around and asks them, why are they there? Do they want to die that, you know, that bad? So Cyprian puts a spell on all of the soldiers except uh, Moon and Mini, uh, Moon and Chibi Moon. So once that, uh, so once they got into, you know, they all end up fighting, and Chibi Yusa wants to, was well, Chibi Moon wants to stop them from fighting. Jupiter uh, uses uh, a thunderclap against her, uh, but Tuxedo Max he basically, you know, shields her from it. Uh, Sailor Moon goes into, you know, um, using, um, she tried to destroy Cyprian's attack, but when she does, she brings out, um, uh, Petrol. Now, Petrol is basically the copy form of, uh, Cyprian. There's the, uh, is one witch, uh, with two halves. So, at this point, the girls are fighting, so Sailor Moon tries to figure out how to stop them from fighting. And at the end, we see this um, golden gleaming cup that appears in her hand. What does it mean? You're about to find out. Stay tuned and you'll see exactly what it is.